if anybody can't spend 15,000 on training, then let me be very clear, he cannot start a hydroponic farm. Very simple. It's much more than 15,000. 15,000 is just a fraction of what you are going to spend on a hydroponic farm. <coughs> Suppose you spend in, on one acre, if it is 4,000 rupees per square meter, or 5,000 rupees per square meter, as we will see, you will spend 2 crore rupees. And in 2 crore, 15,000 is just peanuts. Nothing, it doesn't figure even in a project of 2 crore. So, this is why we have done this. But you can never evaluate anything. Just send it to me, I will tell you that it's not true or not. So, then there is an air pump. Lot of air pumps are available. You have to put a small air pump. There is an air pump of 10,000, 12,000, 15,000. No need. This air pump is worth 1,200 rupees. And it is very good. It serves your purpose. It is a two nozzle pump. It's called Sobo is the company. You will see that it serves very well. In a tank of 2,000 litres, it will serve. So no need. Then there is airstone, 24-inch airstone. So big airstone is available. Then that is the temperature controller. Somebody, I asked, we need to control the temperature. He said, this is the sensor, this is the sensor. Just 1,800 rupees worth of sensor. It is controlling the temperature. It will fire the fans at 30 degrees. It will shut off the fan at 25 degrees. No need. You locate one of the place which is the hottest place in your Hopali house. Install that sensor there. Then this is again a gate wall of 16 mm. You know, try to have a system where you can have a lot of controls yourself. I want to shut a particular line. I must have a small to shut it. I want to reduce the pressure. In a, I must half cock the So that the system should be variable and dynamic. It should not be static. No, no, no. You will have to have a system which is versatile, which is dynamic, which is mendable, which is changeable, which is alternative you can have. So for this, you need this kind of system. Always use submersible pump. The most important thing about submersible pump is, we were using here submersible pumps. All the pumps were drowned in water and nothing happened to them because they are submersible pumps. So, Submersible pump पानी में डूब गया कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ा उसको क्योंकि वो तो होता ही पानी में है जितने हमारे सरफेस वाले पंप थे सारे के सारे खराब हो गए फ्लड में सेकंड नंबर दो क्या होता है कि आप व्हेन यू डू ऑटोमेशन देन सम टाइम द पंप डजंट लिफ्ट वाटर द नॉर्मल पंप सरफेस पंप एंड यू डोंट नो एट दैट टाइम योर सर्कल में रन ड्राई सबमर्सिबल पंप विल नेवर रन ड्राई इट विल ऑलवेज लिफ्ट वाटर so you should always use submersible pump if somebody says use a 7 hour surface never use it Use a submersible pump in, in hydroponic farming. Then this is a multi-cycle timer. You want 20 times timer. These days better timers are also available. These days Wi-Fi timers are also available. I'll show you some Wi-Fi timers. They are nothing. They are plugs and they control on your phone and you can control everything. Monday go on, Tuesday go off and they cost about 990 rupees. I know Vipro ke aate hai 990 ka ek. Toh har, agar aapko 10 bhi lagge, toh अगर आपको आप ऑटोमेटिक कंट्रोलर लाओगे तो 40000 का लगेगा तो व्हाई नॉट सेव दिस 31000 ना वो आपको कहेगा अरे आपको सब 10 लगाने पड़ेंगे मैं कह तो 20 लगाने पड़ जाए मुझे क्या फर्क पड़ता है एंड स्टिल अगर मैंने 10 लगाए हैं दो मैंने स्टैंड बाय रख लिए अगर मेरे बीच में से इफ सपोज वन गोस आउट आई विल पुट द अदर वन इन द मीन टाइम अगर मेरा 40000 का वन कंट्रोलर गोस ऑफलाइन आई विल बी स्टक सो योर फार्म शुड बी अ मॉड्यूलर फार्म Modular in the sense, there should be components, repeatable components of modules. One module supporting 2,000 plants, second module supporting 2,000 plants, third module supporting 2,000 plants, fourth module supporting 2,000 plants, like this, battery of modules, like, like the batteries running in series or parallels. What will happen if one system goes off, your entire farm will not be affected. So we have five modules here for this NFT. So there is one module, complete independent for everything, complete independent for everything, complete independent for complete, and there are five sections and five modules. So have a modular farm. Don't have a one controlling equipment for the entire farm. That will create a problem for you at a later stage for management. And secondly, that will be costly. Then what can you do is, suppose you have five submersible pumps of one horsepower. And suppose you have one submersible pump of 7 or 8 horsepower, you will save power number 1. Number 2 is you can stagger your load. This pump works from 11 to 11.15, this pump works from 11.15 to 11.30, this works from 11.30 to this. So at any given time, your load on power will be 1 horsepower. 
it will not be seven hours power which will require bigger wires which will require bigger fuses bigger mcbs all these things so try to save money like this and small 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 at the end will make a lot of money saving this is a peristaltic pump which people recommend but i don't use it there is no need peristaltic pump they use tomorrow i will bring an online equipment which will uh, control all these things i bought it and it is still lying unpacked i never used it bought it also here they sell it for 1 lakh or something i got it from new zealand which is the original manufacturer for 30000 and it is still packed in original even not unpacked also because it is not required unnecessarily somebody asked me to buy it there is no need online ph controller why online ph controller ph is a log scale ph 4.5 and ph 5.5 the difference is not only one the difference is 10 times like the richer scale of the earthquake earthquake at 6 on the richer scale and earthquake at 7 in the richer scale is 10 times heavier than the 6 it because it's a log scale so why should you bother when it is a 10 time difference of 4.5 and 5.5 ph why should you bother about online monitoring of ph and even if the ph range for plants is 5.5 to 6.5 plant needs acidic when 5.5 to 6.5 is the range why are you bother to check it after every 10 minutes even checking once a day is enough for you early in the morning check take your ph reading and in the evening take your ph reading that's it or even evening as is not required take it in the morning correct it and then forget about the day mm -hmm. why you should know have 3 and a half lakh worth of equipment for <laughs> online monitoring of your ph so this kind of thing you can always save lot of money by using economical equipment